Hi there, I'm Christine Groenewald, the project coordinator of the Green Committee here on Tigerberg campus. In this video, I will share with you why the new residents on our campus can lay claim to being the greenest residents in Africa. To start off with, by using the light steel frame system, the overall quantity of raw materials consumed during manufacture and construction is smaller than in conventional construction. This method also uses much less water and less waste is generated during this process of construction. Of all the building materials, about 0.25% end up as waste compared to the average of 25% of standard construction methods. This is saving transport and therefore carbon emissions. Some of the more visible green features include photovoltaic panels, heat pumps, hydro boils and a grey water system. The photovoltaic panels on the roof supply electricity for the lighting and the heat pumps. In the photo, the panels are the white layer on the top of the roof. The heat pumps are more energy efficient than the geysers most of us know, using a huge storage tank from which hot water is distributed. Five amp circuit breakers in each pot and the hydro boils in the kitchen discourage the use of energy gobbling appliances like kettles. The grey water system in use is the first for our campus as well. It uses the water from the showers and the basins and then from the zincs of the second and third floors. This water is collected in three underground septic tanks that hold up to 2000 litres each. The water in these tanks are treated with enzymes on a monthly basis to break down solids as the initial step in purifying the water. Then the water is pumped through this black strainer to remove any big waste solids to the first big green tank that can store up to 10,000 litres. From this green tank, the water is pumped through a red filter after which ozone is injected into it. Ozone is preferred as an oxidant because it is easily available, cost effective and leaves no hazardous chemicals as byproducts and is the most effective. The second green storage tank is the next stop. From this tank, the water is used for irrigation of the landscaping around the building. If the water is not used for irrigation, it is recycled through the whole system again. The landscaping will include indigenous fainbos and permeable paving and is watered from nine stations around the buildings that is set to work between 3 and 5 in the morning. Occupation of the residence takes place in the beginning of August 2017 and we can just hope that the lifestyle choices of the students who will stay here will reflect and complement this innovative green residence.